friends of UNH Women's Hockey present Coach's Corner with head coach Brian McCloskey. Well, the Wildcats finished up the regular season this weekend with a pair of victories over the University of Connecticut. First on the big ice here at the Whittemore Center with a 5 nothing shutout. Then they traveled down to Connecticut on the small ice and posted a 6-1 to victory. Hi, I'm Phil Kincaid for the Friends of UNH Women's Hockey, and welcome to Coach's Corner with head coach Brian McCloskey. Well, Coach, uh, first of all, congratulations on a fantastic uh, regular season. We know that the next three weeks are probably going to be the longest three weeks of the season, and there's a lot of work to go ahead. But, you know, it's sometimes good to sit back and savor the moment and take a look at a 20-0-1 Hockey East record, the first time any team has gone undefeated in Hockey East. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's been an amazing run. If you told us before the season that that was going to unfold, <laughs> I'm not sure I would have believed you. Uh, we've had some great uh, teams here in recent history and uh, within Hockey East that have put up some pretty gaudy numbers, but this, this group... Uh, uh, seemed to raise the bar this year, and uh, to their credit, I told them after the game on Sunday, uh, you know, I never once mentioned perfect season because, uh, it, first of all, it never entered my mind. Um, but that's an amazing accomplishment, whether, you know, whether we're more talented than our opponent or not. We're not that much more talented than the uh, majority of teams in our league. We may be a little deeper, um, but there's some excellent teams and excellent players. So for them to to be able to to put up that kind of a record over the course of a, a 21 game slate is pretty impressive and uh, they should be proud of it proud of it i mean as you say though it doesn't do much for you going forward it, in fact it does nothing uh, except put a big bullseye on your back but uh, but you know when the season's over there's no question that uh, we'll reflect upon that well there was a real buzz in the arena here on saturday and and the prevailing opinion from the fans perspective was that was the best game they've seen out of this team all season, just moving the puck relentlessly, uh, tremendous pressure. It seems as if the team may be peaking at just the right time. Well, I think, you know, that uh, coaches aren't very bright sometimes, and uh, we we find a lot of stuff out by trial and error, and uh, which can frustrate players uh, as well as coaches. But... Uh, what we worked on last week was, uh, you know, a variation of maybe the uh, of uh, of the way we've played all year, uh, with a few changes, and the team seemed to embrace those during the week. I was interested to see how they would affect us over the weekend, <clears throat> and they certainly carried forward, and uh, probably more dramatically than I would have anticipated. So, uh, without question, Saturday's game was uh, was a very impressive display by our kids, and. Uh, I thought Sunday they did as well. I mean, a smaller building, a little different game uh, on that surface, but uh, you know, both both games were uh, very positive indicators looking out into the hockey's tournament, and the NCAA's, uh, which are just around the corner. One of the important things too is you know being physically fit, but also mentally fit. It's a very long season. It strikes me in talking to some of the players at this point, there still seems to be mentally fresh and ready to go, as well as physically fresh. Yeah, maybe that's because we've had uh, we've got a great veteran crew, uh, juniors and seniors that have uh, been through this before. Uh, maybe that's a, another reason why I think it's uh, it's it's remarkable they've been as consistent this team as they have all year, uh, because it's easy in the middle. Uh, of the season to, to maybe not have your focus. and uh, But I don't think our team's tired at all. And uh, I've always said this, injuries are a silver lining. <laughs> you know, you don't want to lose players over the course of the season, but they can it can be a silver lining because it forces you to change your lineup. It makes uh, gives different players opportunities. It inadvertently arrests the injured player. And, uh, you know, we haven't had a, a you know a rash of injuries, but we've been kind of steadily uh, like the Chinese water torture. <laughs> we've had a drip here, a drip there, and someone in, someone out. And I think that's helped us. I mean, I think that's helped us in a lot of little ways. And uh, so, I, you know, when I look at our locker room right now, I think combined uh, with when you combine that with the senior leadership we've had all season uh, and the way our team has, has been focusing, I think, on this and run and and, you know I think that's a difficult thing Phil is you don't want to make the season come down to a single game unfortunately ultimately championships are decided in that that venue but they've had a heck of a season and uh, I I think they're just excited uh, to be going into the 
you know, I guess the teeth of, of the biggest challenges that they'll face. And, uh, and I think that's what athletes want. Well, now back to Connecticut this weekend, and you'll be facing BU on Saturday in the opening round of the Hockey East Tournament, the all-important Hockey East Tournament, because it brings an automatic bid yep. uh, to the NCAA. Uh, what are you expecting from BU this weekend? Well, I think uh, BU, Brian DeRocher's team, has been uh, uh, quietly probably one of the better teams in our league all season. Very steady. We played them three times before Christmas. Haven't seen them since. I suspect they've gotten a lot better. Uh, judging by their scores. And uh, I thought they played us very tough early. So uh, they're extremely uh, strong in uh, defensively. With uh, I just think they, they're well coached. Uh, Elise Wilcox is clearly one of the better goalies in our league, if not as good as there is, um, capable of stealing a game. Uh, they have some excellent skilled players up front. Uh, he's got a very nice team. I mean, they'll, they'll be, uh, you know, I don't think there's much separating uh, truthfully, uh, one, two, three, four. I mean, we've obviously had a slight advantage in terms of depth, but you know, Providence has had some uh, terrific games in the second half. Uh, UConn obviously put together a great run this year, and I think BU is is easily the equal of those two. So, uh, I, I expect a, a very, very competitive game down at UConn on Saturday. Great, Coach. Thank you very much. That's this week's edition of Coach's Corner. We'll be back next week to take a look at what happened at that big Hockey East tournament.